Hi friends, Yari here with Third Eye Yari, and today we're going to start with a, a mediumship training deck. I hope everybody's doing okay. Um, I know that the energies are super intense. I can feel them, and I know a bunch of my psychic medium friends can feel it, and people are feeling it. Um, every, every single person in the last couple weeks that I've done um, private readings with have said it. Um, so we are feeling it. <laughs> but it's positive. People tend to think that this very dense, heavy energy is negative. It's not. We're just getting a lot of... Um, downloads a lot of information a lot of changes on the dna level so it you know the body is it's feeling it physically um so just take time to relax take time to rest don't overdo it you know if you always if you're the kind of person that says, I'm going to run a mile and then run three, don't. Run your mile and then be done. Listen to your body. Stay hydrated. Eat lighter. Um, and, and give yourself that time that I do meditation. You can do it in whatever way you want. It's, it's fine as long as there's some quiet time that your brain can decompress. Okay? All right. The power of prayer and prayer is a form of meditation that's exactly what I was talking about and it's powerful it's powerful in different ways it's powerful to relax the mind it's powerful to be able to focus and it's powerful for the connection that creates with the divine right it's very powerful and that's exactly what we were talking about. All right. This is Atlantis. Ooh. I just felt the chills. Actually, before I... <laughs> Side note. I was, I was here. I was doing some... Recording some mini readings. And... Before I did this big reading, I went to the shower, washed my hair, and I feel so much better. And I asked Archangel Michael to clean my aura of any energy that doesn't belong to me, that's uh, lower, um, that I don't need to take it off. And I feel so much better. Well, when you take a shower, you feel better always. But my energy feel feels lighter. Uh, so that's, you know, something that you can try. It works for me. I do it every day. Uh, high Priestess. High Priestess. The High Priestess is the feminine energy of peace and balance and intuition and partnership. Uh, she's adaptable and diplomatic. And she always finds harmony. I mean... This is, this is very intense, but soft and feminine at the same time. Energy. Um, that's the energy of the two. Oh, this is seven. Well, seven is also that. Seven is also uh, intuition. Very powerful intuition. Consciousness and, and subconscious mixed together. Um so yeah high priestess yeah high priestess is the number seven actually but but um she carries the is she the number seven i'm i'm getting all my tarot mixed up uh it's late at night but um the number two is very feminine high priestess kind of uh energy but here they have it as the number seven that's gonna drive me insane hold on just a second because i should know this stuff right 
but at this time of night and it's night for me yes so the high priestess is two which is what i said the high priestess is two is number two uh in tarot uh, but here is the number seven, but seven is a very spiritual, uh, very intuitive number too. Okay. I thought I was going insane. Well, I'm a little insane, but you know, tarot is something that I know. So that kind of threw my brain for a loop because I was expecting to see a two and I saw a seven. <laughs> Woo! That was the senior moment. All right. So this is Beyond Lemuria. I am not a senior. I am a senior to my children. <laughs> I am not a senior. Far from it, right? I have grandchildren, but I'm not a senior. I am senior to them. Yes, I am. <laughs> when I think of the word senior, I think of an old person, and I don't think that I'm old. My children call me old, but that's their problem. <laughs> I say that I'm older, not old. Anyhow, let's go back to the reading. All right. She of the Lotus. So this is very, very, very feminine energy. Of course, we all pray. There's nothing about prayer that is feminine or masculine, but we see a female figure. And then we have the high priestess, which is absolutely feminine energy. And then says, she of the lotus. And it's, a no, it's the number 43, which is seven. Woo, okay. And four is balance, okay? It's dependable, it's stable, it's advancing, it's being in the right path. Three is um, also very feminine energy, is positive, is, is youthful, is upbeat energy, is communication, is the empress energy, uh, is fun, is child at heart, and is community right community and of course the seven we already said what it was and um, this is um the rose oracle Mother Rose continuing the feminine energy. Mother Rose returning to each other, compass, compassion, humanity. And what does a mother or a motherly figure do? Care for others, right? Um, so I just got this very important message that this is all about caring for yourself. Okay, and this, of course, we're in the middle of two portals and two eclipses and the energy in general of all of that. And that was my um, video yesterday uh, talking all about that. I recommend you watching that if you haven't watched it, because it's going to give you a lot of background of what I'm talking about. We really need to care for ourselves. These energies, that's how I started, are very dense, are very heavy, not because they're lower in vibration, not at all, super high in vibration, super high in vibration. But what's happening to us, all the information, all the downloads that spirit is sending to us, all the changes in our DNA that are happening is taking a toll on our bodies. So we really have to care for ourselves like it was our mother. You know, that little chicken noodle soup, that uh, 
going out for walks and taking fresh air and drinking lots of water and sleeping your full eight hours and exercising but not killing yourself, okay? Don't go for a three-hour marathon at the gym. There's no need for that right now. Take a breather right now, okay? Keep moving your body. That's really important because you need to move that energy around, okay? It's important for the integration, but don't kill yourself because right now, because what's going to happen is you're going to get sick, okay? You're going to just, it's going to be too much. Your body is going to do something to stop you. So take it easy, still do the exercise, still go outside, but don't overdo it, okay? Very feminine energy, caring, nurturing, uh, attentive, present, uh, loving, compassionate, um, considerate, okay? And then intuitive, intuitive. All right, important. These are angel mess, angel answers, angel answers. All right. Oh, we got two. So we got perfect timing and helpful people. So. This is one of the things that is hard for us to wrap our minds around because sometimes the universe timing is not our timing. And that's okay. We need to be okay with that. We need to be okay with that. We need to be okay with when things that we really, really want don't come our way. Or people that we really, really love don't come our way or leave, right? Because the universe knows better than we do. And it's not about denying your feelings. It's about having an open mind and an open heart. And the faith and the knowledge and the certainty to know that this is for my betterment. If a door closes, two more are going to open. And that sounds like cliche, but it's true. It's true. And there are people around us that are going to be helpful. We need to remember that we don't have to be the hero in our own lives. You know, um, we don't. We don't. We don't have to do it all. And us mothers, we tend to do that. I've been, I've done that. I have learned now that sometimes I'm tired and I am going to rest. And I'm sorry that I didn't cook dinner. You can go to the pantry and make yourself a sandwich. You're fine. You're not going to die. Yes, that has happened in my house a lot lately. <laughs> Helpful people, okay? And perfect timing. All right. And then these are uh, Melanie Beckler's. And more feminine energy in the way of a fairy. Oh, and you know what? This one has the energy of the hermit. Way shore. Lead. Don't follow. Pave a new way. Embrace the possibilities. And she's standing just just like the hermit is, okay? 
And the hermit has the lantern because he is showing the way. He is illuminating the past and the lessons learned from the past for others. So, you know, it's hard for people to learn from other people's experiences, but there can be a lot of knowledge in that, a lot of wisdom in that. So again, be open to other people that love you and care for you um, experiences, okay? And that's that energy. Way, shower, lead, don't follow, pave a new way, and, tr and embrace new possibilities. I'm going to color that next, if I remember. I think I'll remember. That's pretty. I like that. All right. Let's see what Tarot has to say. And this is the Light Seer Tarot. So this is all about taking care of ourselves having faith, letting people help us, not only in physically help us, you know, if, if your neighbor, if your best friend brings a little bit of the casserole that she made, take it, eat it, feed it to the kids. It's okay. There's helpful people. So not just by that helpful, physically helpful, uh, but from their own experience, from their own experiences too, okay? There's help in that. That also could be, you know, going uh, to therapy, talking to somebody, talking to your pastor, or talking to, you know, whoever you feel um, has some knowledge and is gonna listen and tell you something that's gonna be significant for you important for you okay all right can you see i think i put my stuff too far to the left i don't want the cars to be off camera okay okay that's the seven energy the chariot that they have as the high priestess here so that's an energy that's together okay so we have the two of pentacles and the two of pentacles is about juggling different options, juggling different things, juggling different paths, not knowing what to choose, but it's in the reverse. So I think you have chosen and now not only you have chosen, you are in the planning phase of where to go. Okay, so you know what you want, you have chosen what you want, and you're planning your next movement. And this is also, uh, you know, movement, the chariot. So there's a lot of movement here. We have a lot of movement, a lot of movement. All of these cars, except this one, are of movement. Okay. The four of ones, 11, 11, the portal that's coming up, but it's in the reverse, which is not a bad thing. The four of one cards works positively both ways, both ways. Uh, of course, depending on the reading, if, if, if I was doing a love reading, I would say the couple is going to separate, right? Or could divorce or something like that. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about happiness. And actually, if I turn her around, where are the people going? Up. So it's about ascending. So whatever movement, whatever choice you have made, it's going to help you elevate. 
elevate. And that's what's happening. That's that's all this energy that's happening right now with the two portals and and I love this. The two portals and the two eclipses. So the ten of wands is leaving something behind, right? But since it's the reverse, you're walking towards your future. So how beautiful is that? How beautiful is that? That's the message that I got very clearly. You're not leaving something, well you are, <laughs> but you're not only leaving something behind, things that no longer serve you, you're moving towards your future. So you, have chosen you are planning and you are moving you are elevating and moving towards your future and that's exactly what we want to do with this energy that is exactly what we want to do moving to the new age of aquarius which we've been doing that for the last couple of years. I mean, this is nothing new. We've heard that before. Nothing is going to happen from one day to the next. We've been doing that. This is why these energies are so tough on us because it's all in preparation for all of that. Okay? You did not build Rome in one day. You are not going to switch from 3D to 5D in a day, okay? This is coming in the last 2,000 years, <laughs> you know, from one stage to the next. And, and you know, spirit has been preparing us. That's why there's so much of this coming up, you know, so many people awakening, so many people. So the last couple of years, our world our entire world like the globe the planet has been shaken up right we know this and this is why a lot of people all of a sudden are awakening it's not it's not a coincidence it's a plan so do we do it purposely do it with purpose. All right. Nine of Cups in reverse. You know, it's funny because I saw the devil coming out and it, and because I was shuffling, it went right in. And then the Nine of Cups came in the reverse. And I'm going to give you the, the, the message that I got very, very clearly, uh, the devil card is all about, you know, temptation and addictions and, um, you know, being, uh, binded to others in a not very, um, positive way. And sometimes the nine of cups is uh, a card of addiction of alcoholism because of all the cops, right? Um, now, even though this card has a couple that looks like they're getting married, it's in the reverse. And the message that I got is that you're going to leave a lot of vices behind, which is absolutely amazing. Okay, so look, look what we got here. We got the nine, and we have down here the ten of cups in the reverse, which is also that couple getting married, but we'll get to that. So we have the nine of pentacles and the ten of pentacles, which is abundance, is happiness, is family, is everything that we want. But the movement is very slow. It's slow. That horse is not moving. That horse is standing still, but he's looking towards the future and he's going to move. 
it's just taking its time, which is fine because we have the promise that at the end of the day, we're going to get what we want. Everything. We're going to get the money. We're going to get the status. We're going to get the family. We're going to get, you know, I mean, there's everything there. There's food, there's pets, there's family, there's love. All that ocean is all the love and all the pentacles is the financial security. Now, this is a much faster moving energy. So fast that it looks like there's two people when there's just one. That's so interesting. So with this, you are just cutting things that no longer serve us. right? It also talks about an overly ambitious person, but I don't see that here at all. So it's just charging over, charging over to that destiny that has been promised to us. And again, this Ten of Cups in reverse, what I see is the couple being elevated, okay? the couple being elevated. So it's not, it's not negative. If anything, uh, again, the very slow energy, the very slow moving energy. So it's not about not happening. It's about happening a little bit slower, but um, it's happening. That's the promise from the, from the universe. So we need to care for ourselves in all levels, physically, mentally, you know, <clears throat> emotionally let people help us, but we need to do the work. We need to do the work. And then this is what's going to happen. That is great. That is beautiful and it's amazing. And I love it. Okay. Um, this definitely is for all of us. But if you hear your sign, you need to listen maybe again to find what is that message that is especially important for you, okay? And we have Libra. We have Aries. And we have Sagittarius. And I just heard those messages about balance and I have never had that happen and I most of the time 99.9% .9 of the time take out this um little gems and I have never felt that before so new beginnings balance and Sagittarius is that yeah, also balance. Also balance, but balance in all levels. And that's exactly what we were talking about here. It's not just financial, it's the family, it's the happiness, it's the love, it's everything. Okay? All right. So let's do the letters. And the letters, the way they work is that you can see your initials, somebody else's initials, uh, but sometimes you're going to see or, you know, re be reminded of words, um, and that's an extra message for you, it doesn't, they don't have to be completely spelled out or spelled out correctly, okay, V, I was going to say don't be a Virgo now, and V comes out, L, Oh, although I'm a, I'm a Virgo and I'm not like that. D. K. M. J. F. G. 
and I need one more for 10. P. So we have one vowel. So that tells me that you need to think outside the box, right? Find the clues, find, um, you know, different ways of solving things outside the box, right? So V-L-O-D-K-M-G-F. G, I mean J, F, G, and P, and we have J, F, K again. We had that the other day, didn't we? I know because I said so. I remember pointing it out, and I just saw it again. J, F, K. Hmm. Kennedy was one of my mom's guides. That's funny. Maybe he's telling me something. I need to ask my guides about that. Anyhow, okay, so we have good luck. Does that mean to say yes? Hmm. That's really interesting. I never thought about that until right now. I haven't thought about that in years. Never mind, my mom passed away eight years ago, and I haven't th thought about Kennedy being her guide for I never thought about Kennedy being her guide. I just realized that. And I need to. But he was. I mean, in hindsight, I can tell that he was. Anyhow. So we have two, three. All right. So. So we have the four leaf clover and the four leaf clover is, is the quintessential, quintessential symbol of luck. I mean, um, th that's, that's it. That's it. So I almost feel the energy of the, um, wheel of fortune. Even if you feel like you're down right now, you're going to go up. You're going to go up because luck is on your side. And then we have the little cheerleader here. The little, the little uh, cheerleader. So, you know, the, and, and this is maybe the, is those helpful people that are cheering you on. But I feel it's the universe. The universe is cheering us on because we are empowered. We are awakened. We are understanding much better than others, which doesn't make us better person, better, better people. It just makes us awaken. But there's, um, it's a wonderful feeling to know that we are on the know, right? Um, and then there's fairies. And we had a fairy here, right? So that's wonderful confirmation that the fairies are here with us because the fairies are always with us, right? Those elementals that are always helping us. And my friend, the giraffe, is all about self-care, right? Yes. And I always say, because she's so tall, is that wonderful balance between being grounded and being connected okay and that's the power of prayer that's the power of prayer and this is the king's uh crown and the king's crown is always about loyalty okay so we're gonna have people cheering us on helping us people that are loyal to us and we need to be more open to that we don't have to be the superhero every time. Let's take turns, okay? Find six friends plus yourself and you guys assigned each other a day to be the superhero. And the rest of the time you can't arrest. And let the other people be the superhero. How about that? I think that's an excellent plan. And those people are going to be loyal to you. Be also loyal to yourself and care for yourself. 
because not even your mom is going to take care of you like you can. Okay? And then we're going to rewrite that book. Or we're going to write a new one. Okay, because all of this is a new beginning, is in preparation for that new beginning. Granted, we have new beginnings every day. Every day is a brand new day, it's a, it's a new opportunity. Every minute of the day is a new opportunity to do something good, something new, something better, something different, something outside of the box, right? But, you know... We humans like to, you know, divide and categorize and label and things like that. So, you know, this new era that we are being prepared for, we're going to be able to write our story as we want because this is a blank book. It says once upon a time. Well, that's a beautiful reading. I love it. I love it. It's in in, in incredible resonance with you know all the the last few readings that I've made uh, about the eclipse and and the the two eclipses and the two portals. Um, very very supportive energy. Uh, yes, intense, but we can help it. Okay, we can help it. And if you are having trouble understanding these energies and understanding exactly what is what you need to do, I still have space. I keep telling people, then don't complain to me. You did not have any spots during Thanksgiving and Christmas. No, because I'm going to close some. If not all, I'm going to close some because I also have a family and I like to see them. So, um... If you are, you've been thinking about um, scheduling a, a private reading, do it now that I have a lot of spots uh, because that's going to be less in the next few weeks, okay, for all the holidays coming up. All right. So with that, I'll let you go. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell and leave me a comment. There were a lot of comments uh yesterday for the for the video so that was great i love it so keep it going keep it going okay i love it love y'all see you tomorrow bye bye